Eddie, you just got your neck broken, dude. What the heck? Oh, and he popped the chain. Bye! Oh, yo! I caught a black jump. Check it out. What is up, guys? It has been the longest time since I made a video, and why is because we were not at the house. So now that we're at the house, I'm actually gonna be making videos, and you can tell I'm home. Cause you can see, Blaze, what's up, buddy? What's up? He's been like sleeping a lot. Then we got Junior. Junior's been chilling, having fun, eating the weeds. For this first part of my video, I'm gonna be feeding the one and only Eddie. I'm not gonna show you guys him yet because we still need to find a lizard to give him. Have you found any lizards lately? No, he just found a lot of comfy beds and stuff. But, let's see. I'm gonna go find us a lizard. So believe it or not, it's been like two months since I caught a lizard. I mean, I think I caught one in Costa Rica, but it's been the longest time since I actually caught a lizard here in Florida. We've been gone basically for two months. There's a tiny one. I'm not gonna touch him. I'm trying to find a bigger one. One that has nothing to lose and can probably put up a fight with Eddie. But Eddie, guys, Eddie has gotten huge and that man is bigger than like, I don't know, but he's huge now. The person we left him with, she was feeding him like crickets and crickets every day and Eddie's fat now. These guys are too fast for me now. They like, I swear they're, Speed has gone up like 20 miles per hour since I got back. So I finally found and caught a lizard and I went through a lot to catch him. I actually stepped on a hornet and it stung me in the foot and it hurt really bad. But that's okay because Eddie's gonna be eating here in a second. What's up Eddie? We got a little treat for you buddy. What's up? Long time no talk. We got Eddie. I'm going to show you the size of him just compared to like anything. So there we go. We just set Eddie down. Look how long he is now. This other lizard's maybe like not even half, maybe like a third of Eddie. Check that out. So here we go with the great face off. We're going to give him our lizard buddy here. Rest in peace. It's all for good needs. We don't got... We don't got the time to go get him crickets like the people had time to. So, we 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 do it this way. There you guys go. Kissy kiss. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh no. Eddie, Eddie. Oh. Eddie. Eddie's literally tearing up the mat because of how much, how hard he's trying to die for this lizard. He hasn't had one of these in the longest time because she just gave him crickets, but now that he's gonna be happy, let's see this. Oh, 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 he just got his neck broken. Eddie, you just got your neck broken, dude. Eddie, you can't get your neck broken this time. Ready, go. Oh, Eddie. And Eddie's still the beast he always was. So there you guys go. We just fed Eddie the first lizard he's had in probably like two months too. He looks very happy. And I'll have to be a better lizard catcher in the future because that took me like a whole hour to catch that lizard. And he's a fat guy. So we're going to put him back in his cage and get to the video. So just getting ready to fish and there's like... This wasp thing tearing up a spider, man. What the heck? There he goes on the water skin again. He's flying with it across water like it's a water, a jet ski or something. And now he just reached the top and that's wild. So guys, I'm not a very good freshwater fisherman. And to be honest, I've been fishing out here with lures for two hours, I'd say. and. I got tired of it. I had to catch something. So I just grabbed a piece of bread, tossed it, not, not even a foot deep, and watch what happens. Tiny piece of bread, drop, drop, drop. They're all hitting it.
Well, we failed again to catch something. It's because they nibble at it all around it until it's all gone. You worked hard for that tiny fish. I did. Let's see it. I could, lures wouldn't work. Cheerios wouldn't work. But bread worked. Let's check bread? It in. You gave it bread? A hundred ones came out and just attacked it, so. That's hilarious. There we go. Can I feel it? That was the tiniest one. Yeah, I'm gonna go. This is a It's a green fish. It's a snapper. Why is it green? What kind is it, Tyson? It's uh. Green sunfish, I think. It's pretty, or, isn't or it? Okay, guys, so in this video, we're basically at this pond, and we have actually never fished this pond before. And I thought I've not made a fishing video in a while. And Jordan hasn't been fishing, and I haven't been fishing in a while to actually catch a decent fish. So, Jordan, are we gonna catch something? Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my. Ow! <laughs> oh, George! I'm sorry. <laughs> Just know. whoop me. Let's get the fishing, gosh. All right, so I have a, a little worm tied up and I'm using the tiny kid pole. It has a good reel on, but uh, I'm honestly not sure what to expect. Ugh. There we go. Ugh. So guys, I have just spotted a bullfrog. If you're wondering how we get home and to our places so fast, here you go. Oh, and you popped the chain. Bye! Oh my gosh! Fastest, and ever, fastest a man has ever gone on one of these. So guys, this is my third fishing trip I'm going to be going on in the past week. And I've really had no luck. And... I got like a bluegill, but those don't really count because it's just, it's a bluegill. And I am now gonna try to do some saltwater fishing at the shortcut that has a bunch of tiny fish, but there's every now and then we get some big fish over there. And if I can catch something, then I'll have a video. So let's go over there real quick and use the last of my bait. So here we are at our saltwater fishing spot. Best view around and I brought the kitty pole again, and you guys are probably like, why'd you do that again? Because last time, you failed miserably. But I did it because I'm not going to really be casting that far. And I did fail miserably last time with it. But I've had actual good success with it before, so we'll see. And we're using bait, so it's not like we're working a lure or something. So you need a couple times? Do it. Oh, that wasn't very good. So first catch is a leaf. That's pretty good. Boing. There we go. Do I got one? Can't tell. It might be a tiny one. Let's reel this in. I might have a tiny one on, guys. Let's check this out. Oh, check that out. Just got a splash from whatever it is. I'm rounding him in. Oh, yo! I caught a black jump! Guys! I caught a black drum. He's on there still. Oh crap. I don't want to lose him. Check this out. There we go. Let's get him up. And I have the kid pull. This thing's probably like half the size. Let's get him in. Okay, reel it a little more. Check that out. Yo! I just caught a fish. Oh. By just casting it out right there. Check it out. Just a little cast right over there. Check that out. It's a. It's called a black drum. Wow. I have to get the hook out his mouth. That was the craziest thing that ever happened. I wasn't getting any solid bites. Casted it right over there in the corner, and next thing I know, it didn't even seem like a big fish. And this, I mean, it's not a big for a black drum, but for a fish overall, that's pretty. That's a good size. There he goes. So we're on our last shrimp here, and I'm getting tiny bites, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to catch something else. But it was a fun day of fishing here, and the past three days caught two fish, and I definitely want to beat that in the future. And you guys should strive to beat that too. Don't, don't, don't go to my level. But 
don't forget to stay wild and stay awesome all the time and yeah stay lit see you guys next time